All right, I think we should, uh, let's request a, I think we should, oh my goodness. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Photo 5 Mods video. Today we're going to be playing as paramedics out here in the Fort Zancudo area of Blaine County. We have this pretty cool ambulance. It is a Ford F450. And it has this really cool livery on it saying uh, Zancudo Area Ambulance Paramedics. And of course, a remembrance for everyone who was lost on 9-11 with the ribbon there as well. So, it's a pretty cool ambulance. I figured we'll go ahead and use this one. This also has the rotators like the one we used last time. It comes in a different, a couple of different packages. So, you can have like regular lights. You can have um, those lights that are like up there on the top like more lights up there instead or you can have it's a bunch of stuff i'll do other videos on all the other versions but anyway we're gonna be using fire callouts today we are on the beta version which gives us a couple of cool features that we can use um one being the medic bag as well as the stretcher so we are ready to go let's go ahead and hop into our ambulance i will be linking all of the mods that i'm using down below in the video description in case you guys would like to check them out and uh yeah let's go ahead and get this episode started we are tonight and available and i love those jets in the background don't that look so cool guys that is an awesome display that is so nice but yeah let's see what ends up happening today guys all right we just got a report of a aircraft crash let's take it all right we'll respond to that one obviously we're gonna need to help up the fire department or any potential fire that is there. Hopefully the uh, passengers on board the aircraft are going to survive. We definitely will do our best to make sure that happens though. Kinda see Fort Zancudo in the background. Looks like, I think this is a farm up here. Oh boy, how the heck are we going to get in there? Can I cut through these bushes maybe? Man, that is so rocky. How am I supposed to get in there, guys? I think I'm gonna have to go all the way up and then come back around. Yeah, it looks like the entrance is gonna be up here. Oh, this is a vine yard, okay. Oh, here we go. Not a grocery. Oh my goodness, this is a terrible place to be right now for a ambulance. I don't know how we're going to get a fire truck down here. Alright, I think we should, uh, let's request a... I think we should, oh my goodness! I'm going to request a brush truck because a regular engine coming down this road is not going to be pretty. Oh my goodness, a whole jet crash, guys. Holy crap, it looks like someone's there. Is there a fire? Yep, there's fire. Alright, brush truck is here. Oh my god, they're gonna catch on fire. What are they doing? There we go. Alright, so they have uh, water on the fire. Looks like they're using their extinguishers. While we wait for that, let's get our equipment ready. Oh, I didn't realize I could kind of carry both at one time. That's kind of helpful. Alright. 
Yep, we'll put that down. I really should have my turnout on for this too. Wait, where did he go? Shoot. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Got him. I wish they would turn off their siren. Alright, so let's start treating this person here. I'm gonna actually have to get him off first. Alright, he's able to stand up, so that's a good sign. Oh boy. You okay, sir? What happened? You had an emergency landing? Engine failure? Okay, we're gonna just take a quick look at you and see if you okay if you're okay, alright? Patient is shot, losing a lot of blood, tourniquet and IV. Okay, so let's deal with that. We could just say the injury is from the crash, actually. And let's get an IV pack going. Okay, let's assess his vitals now. Airways blocked, shallow breathing, pulse is strong. Okay. So a little bit more treating here into Batum. And then we're going to give him oxygen and he should be stable after that. Looks like he was the only person on board and he is stable. All right, let's get the uh, stretcher. And let's go ahead and load him up. This is a really steep angle right now. My goodness, I hope I'm able to back up out of here. Alright, partner, let's get going. Okay, can we back up out of here? Looks like we can. Alright, let's uh see. Where is the closest place? We could take them to Sandy. Polito's kind of close too, but let's take them to Polito. Last episode we went to Sandy a lot, so let's go to Polito today. Switch it up a little bit. It's going to be a slightly longer ride, but it's all good. I just had an accident behind us. Uh, uh, uh. 
Go to the left. What are you doing? safely made it here. Patient is still stable, so it looks like he's going to be okay. Alright, we are code 4 and back in service, ready for the next call. Alright, we have a report of a motor vehicle collision with people panned. Oh my goodness, that looks like a pain in the butt to get to. All right. Shit, my bad. I tried to hit my siren, but I have my lights on, so I didn't activate. Oh man, we're about to go through a maze for this next call. This call is gonna be. Is that a dirt road that we're going on to? That was close.
This is a cool area. I don't really come out here that much. We're by the uh, vine wood area. I mean the uh, vine place again, vine yard. Okay, so it's definitely not a dirt road. Just a very, very windy road, which is probably why they crashed. Okay, oh my goodness. There's a car on top of a car. Alright, uh, let's get traffic stopped. Let me also get a uh, patrol unit out here to back us up with traffic control. And I think we're going to need some more ambulances here too. Let's start. We'll see if they're uh, stuck inside or not. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Not stable at all. Let's see, is this door open? Oh, oh my goodness, I feel like this is about to fall off the whole mountain. Alright. Um, I would call a fire, I mean, I guess we should call a fire truck too, so let's get a fire truck out here. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the fire truck, I'm just going to put on some uh, turnouts there. And what I'm going to do is basically take the extrication tools off of the fire truck and then um, use them to cut these people out. I think we have one person stuck under our car too. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, there we go. Ouch. Shit. What are y'all doing? Yo, my partner. Oh my god. I should have just handled this myself. What are they doing? Alright, don't mind me not having my helmet and uh, eye protection on. Did they? Oh my god, I think she may be dead. <laughs> Alright, once we get all these people cut out, then we'll um, start treating everybody. I'm gonna need uh, multiple ambulances. We have three patients plus our partner now. Alright, go ahead and put this back. Alright, dispatch, I'm gonna need like two more ambulances over here because this is crazy. This whole call just got so messed up. You guys, hit my partner. All you guys out here, can y'all help? Help me, please. Alright, you know what? Let's just get rid of the firefighters here because they are not helping at all. There we go. Alright, so she's okay. Perfect. Let me um, see if I can get these other people out. I got somebody underneath this car. Can't get to him. Okay, there we go. Alright, we got everybody out. Um, let me see if we can start working on some of them. 
EMS may just end up taking everybody to other ambulance. Okay, so they're working on him. Let me work on this guy here. This state has gone nuts. All right, they look like they're gonna be okay. We still got one more person over there too. All right, broken arm, so we're gonna have to splint it. And painkillers, okay. This was one heck of a call, guys. Look how crazy this looks. Okay. Um, quick vital check. Pulse strong. Shallow breathing. Airways good. So we're going to give him uh, oxygen. And then he should be ready for transport after that. Alright. Patient is stable and ready for transport. So I'm going to take him if they don't take him. They may take him first, but I'm going to try to take him. Wait a minute. Didn't we get him up already? Wait, no. Okay. You're covered. Move. Thought we did this already, but we'll do it one more time. Come on, he was good. The other ambulance already took everybody down. That's a major traffic jam over there. So we can uh, help them get through a little bit. Come on, man. Come on, man. Everybody made it. You gotta make it too. Not giving up on him. Come on, man. Yes, yes, yes. We saved him again. We didn't give up. Okay, he's up again. Let's get the uh, stretcher and let's get into the hospital. As soon as possible. Where's my medic bag? Put that back. Now, this isn't really my job to do. This is really a police job, but we'll get some uh, tow trucks out here. Alright, so let's get out of here. I think I had long sleeves on earlier. Oops. Alright, nearest hospital from here. We could kind of go down to the city. Let me see. City will be right there. See how far that is. That is three miles. Oh boy. And uh, let's see. Sandy's over here. That's almost four miles. And let's see. Polito Bay. Okay, so the closest spot from here is actually to Los Santos. So that is where we will go. I'm driving with mouse and keyboard now, so this may get a little ugly. My controller died during that whole fiasco.
Okay, I think my controller is back on. Hopefully it doesn't cut off. It's probably going to cut off like while I'm turning. I'm going to end up crashing. I bet you that's going to happen. to the city in the background. I'm tired of these turns, I'm just gonna go straight here. Almost there guys, half a mile to go. Today has been one heck of a day. It's actually cool how the ambulances are pulling in here as well. Very busy. Alright, let's get them inside. He's still stable, so I think he is going to be okay. Alright guys, so that is going to do it for today's episode. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. Leave some comments down below. Subscribe if you are new. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified whenever we post a new video. And if you guys want to download any of these mods, again, check out my website, acepilot2k7.com. Plus on my website, I have a lot of tutorials. I have some bonus content for Ace Scribers. If you would like to subscribe on my website, check that out. You get access to a couple of cool features but um yeah thank you guys so much for watching hope you guys enjoyed this one and i will see you guys in the next one peace